Okay, so if your bathroom looks like this, I'm sorry. It just takes a lot of effort to renovate a bathroom like this. And you've probably gotten some quotes and gotten some ridiculous prices on replacing this stuff. And I'm gonna show you why that is, because this is a lot of effort. It took a lot for those old timers to actually build this bathroom, and it's gonna take a lot to remove it. So basically the mud bed walls are just a bear to get out. The second thing is, is we have a big solid floor that's in a mud bed as well. And then we have plaster on top of that. So everything about this is very time consuming and a lot of energy to remove. So I'm gonna show you how to go about doing that. Okay, okay so we're gonna get started on getting rid of these mud bed walls in the shower area. Now, if I was replacing a tub or trying to keep this tub, I would make sure that I make I put something in that drain, keep it from being getting clogged with any dirt or anything. But since I'm converting this to a shower, I have to convert everything to two inch. So even if the trap got filled up with junk, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so, you know, these mud bed walls, they're just no fun to remove. And I found in my experience, the best way to go about it is just to get a nice big framing hammer and just smash it out piece by piece that's really it so get yourself a good pair of headsets uh respirator i gotta get my eyewear because you don't want to get this stuff in your eyes either so we'll get started on that So, yeah, as you can see, this is all metal lath underneath the here. Definitely a solid foundation for tile, but my goodness, just an enormous amount of work and weight over these old bathrooms. So, nothing easy about it, but a good framing hander, hammer really makes a world of difference. Okay, so one misconception that people think is renting a demo hammer to get rid of this. Now this will help on the floor. I might actually use this on the floor, but when it comes to the walls, this isn't very helpful. For one, it ends up vibrating the wall way too much and then you end up with nail pops on the other side of the wall. And really the amount of effort to hold this up and then try to um, basically uh, bust this out it's just a lot more effort on your body and your back for that matter, holding one of these. So I'll just demonstrate real quickly. So as you can see, it'll do the job. Don't get me wrong. You can do it with this, but you're gonna end up straining your back and then you're gonna vibrate this wall too much. And then you're gonna have nail pops and things that you address on the other side so in my mind it's just easier to do it little by little with a hammer um you know so just to basically highlight a myth that this is actually going to help you out
So when it comes to the metal lath, please be careful with this stuff. This is some really nasty th stuff. <clears throat> really easy to cut yourself. Uh, I've actually gotten a lot of comments from other contractors talking about getting stitches and all types of stuff from this. So, you know, maybe even, you know, if it's really warm out, it's kind of tough to wear a long sleeve shirt. But, uh, you know, just take precautions. Use some good work gloves. And then if you need to cut it up into smaller pieces to keep it to, to be able to easily manage getting it out, uh, do so. You can always take a grinder and cut the, the cut some of that metal lath and get it apart easily. So um, take your time. Be careful. So this is where a chipping demo hammer really does come into play, getting that little extra pieces out of the corners of the room. So you just basically just chiseling at an angle to get remove the excess wall material in the corners, and then you could be able to remove that lath out of that corners. This is always um, the not so fun part because the metal lath kind of goes down below the floor area. And hey, if you plan on doing your own bathroom remodel, definitely check out my course. I've put together a curriculum that goes step by step through the entire process of the bathroom remodel. It'll definitely keep you organized and prepared so you can efficiently get that bathroom remodel done.